Guys, I'm Cody Bradbury. We're here at Legend Boats today. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time and show you around our factory, show you what makes a Legend boat the best boat in the world. So this is our fiberglass cutting area. All the different weights and consistencies of fiberglass come off the rolls here on the end of the line, get rolled out on this table and get cut out with these templates that are hanging on the wall. Basically, we're gonna put a boat in a box in this area. We're gonna cut each individual uh, section of fiberglass for each individual area in the boat, put it into a kit labeled for each area inside the hull when it gets laminated, put it into place there. So the fiberglass will all get cut and measured here. We use two different uh, sizes of fiberglass. We use a 17 ounce woven roven and a 24 ounce woven roven in different areas of the hull and the top cap. And then we've got different composites that we use here as well. This is a really neat one. It's called a, uh, an Airx foam. It's a super lightweight foam core. Doesn't have a lot of strength on its own, but we use it basically as an ice cream and an ice cream sandwich. So we're gonna infuse resin down into these cuts, uh, encapsulate both sides of this in fiberglass. And, it'll, and we'll use it as a coring material in the flat uh, deck area of the, of the top cap and in certain areas of the hull as, as well. So this is where it starts, guys. This is the first stage of the builds process at Legend Boats. This is the gel coat booth. This is where everything's gonna get started. We're gonna spend the first day of the build process actually prepping the mold. So we're gonna come in and by hand tape off each individual stripe or uh, individual color in the mold onto the mold itself with masking tape. So all the different stripes, the pins, the, what we call the splash, the waves on the back, the running surface color, everything is gonna get taped off by hand here and prepped for the gel coat process as it moves into the booth. Once it's prepped, we're gonna move this mold into the booth. It's climate controlled. We fire it up because we gel coat at night. We'll fire the, the climate control system up at night, get it to a constant 79 degrees, which is the best temperature for a gel coat and clear coat to catalyze that. And uh, we'll start the acclimation process on the mold, get it heated up, and then they'll actually start gel coating. Uh, once they start gel coating, they're going to spray each individual layer of, of gel coat into the mold uh, freehand into the, into the mold and then uh, peel the layer of masking back at each individual layer. So in this instance, we'll spray the running surface color first, uh, we'll, we'll peel the masking on the hull side, spray the hull side color, uh, peel the masking on the stripe and then the pins, eventually paint every, uh, every component of the inside of the mold. Um, what's unique about us at this stage of the game, we, uh, we offer custom fades from one color into the next on a certain area of our boat back here in the back of the stripe. And uh, we can fade from any flake color to any other flake color, which leads to ultimately over a trillion different color options in your Legend boat. So the second day of the build process is the fun day. It's the messy day. This is the lamination area and this is where the boat's going to get its structure. So from the paint booth, it's gonna move into this area. The first thing they're gonna do is spray a skin coat of chopped fiberglass. It's the cotton candy looking stuff that's messed all over the walls back there. And it's a cosmetic barrier coat between the paint job and the structural laminate that'll go behind it. So it's omnidirectional, it's sprayed in and lays every direction inside the boat. It's just gonna serve as a barrier to preserve the cosmetics as we go through the lamination process. With that, the hand laid woven roven that you saw cut back in the, uh, in the, in the assembly area is gonna get hand laid into the boat. We'll build layers, up to four layers in the hull of 24 ounce woven roven, and it'll go through the lamination process. And when that happens, it'll heat up to almost 200 degrees Fahrenheit, cool back down, heat back up. The cosmetic barrier of the chopped glass prevents the, uh, the what would be called heat print from shining through into the finished product. So we'll build up the structure inside the laminates here, and then we'll start putting the, uh, the stringer system into place. The stringer system is built off of its own separate molded uh, part, and then flipped and put into the boat to build a flat subfloor through the entire bottom of the running surface. And then we'll put a uh, secondary subfloor on top of that stringer. The transom will go into place. The knee braces or the gussets to the transom will go into place. And then we'll encapsulate the entire thing for a finished product in the hull. Next, the top cap will come through the same process. So this is the other half of the boat. This is the top cap. It's laminated in the same way as the hull. We'll come in with a skin coat of chopped fiberglass and then the structural laminates behind there. And then we've got a lot of different reinforcements that'll go into place on the top cap. We've got a huge reinforcement here underneath the, uh, the trolling motor mounting area that spans the entire bow of the boat, not just where the actual trolling motor is mounting. And then we've got reinforcements to the entire top cap as well. You see that Airx foam that we looked at? It's coring the entire front deck anywhere there's not a lid, anywhere there's not a cutout. We've got this honeycomb material that is, uh, that's cored with fiberglass on either side. This is forming the stringer, what we call the stringer for the top cap. It's given us a lot of structure. It's glassed both to the underside of the deck here and it'll get mated onto the subfloor once the parts flipped over and mated onto the hull. So we're gonna get a lot of strength out of this and I'll show you guys at the next stage of the process. But lots of reinforcing going on here on the top cap. So we're looking at days four and five essentially of the build process here. 
So once the boat's laminated, it's gonna come into the heater, the rough finish area, and we're gonna foam it while it's still in the mold, on the hull side anyway. Uh, we're actually gonna foam it in the mold so that when we, short, when we shoot pressurized foam into the, each individual foam chamber inside the boat, it's not gonna distort the shape of the running surface. We foam it in the mold so that it can only change the shape, shooting pressurized foam into that chamber of the subfloor, which is gonna get covered anyway. We keep it in the mold for that reason. Then we'll pull it from the mold, move it here, we'll sh uh, shoot it into the grinding booth, cut off the excess flange, all the way around the outside of the boat, uh, trim for the uh, for the engine mounting area, and then move here to uh, start glassing in the interior componentry, like the engine box that we're looking in here. The secondary subfloor will go into place, the fuel tank will go into place, and we'll clean up the entire inside of the boat. We'll sand it down and actually gel coat the interior so you've got a finished product inside now. So this is our Baskin Robbins back here. This is uh, this is where we keep all of our flavors. These are our gels. These are our, our this is our black, our white, our clear, and our catalyst. They all go into the gel coat booth through this slave pump system that's completely controlled back here in a controlled environment so nobody can mess with it. Nobody can change the settings on it so every boat is sprayed perfectly consistent with the one before it. So inside each one of these canisters is each individual color of flake that we'll mix custom here with the formulas that we've got on the wall for each individual color of, of, of a legend boat. Um, we'll start with the, the flake here. Mix it up, we'll, we'll shoot it into a canister here that actually will go into a backpack and the gel coater will strap that backpack on, hook it to the gun, and then actually spray the boat inside the booth out front. So this is the other half of the rough finish area. This is the top cap coming through. Everything's gonna get rigged up here. The first thing we'll do is completely sand out and finish the entire interior of the boat here at this stage. We're gonna sand it down so that you don't get any glass splinters when you're working on your boat, when you're pulling your electronics, working in your bilge pumps, working your batteries, anything like that. So we'll get it sanded down, we'll paint the interior of the boat, we'll run all the wiring here. We've got a universal harness that we run through every boat. We run rope all the way around both sides of the boat, so if you ever had to run a cable down the road, you can do that really easily. All of our plumbing is all PVC pipe that's eventually gonna get fiberglassed over. Uh, all that's gonna go into place here. All the small parts, the boxes that we looked at being built back in the back are gonna get fiberglassed to the top cap here to become one with the boat. And then uh, the top cap's gonna get shot with foam. So we're gonna put at least two inches of foam around all of our coolers, all of our dry storage boxes for good insulation. Great, uh, the, the coolers on these boats are like Yetis. They're gonna, be, they're gonna hold ice for, for a full day. And uh, once all that's together, we're gonna get the boat ready to flip over and mate onto the hull. So these are our small parts. These are all the components and boxes that are gonna get glassed onto the boat itself. Unlike some companies that have drop-in boxes, plastic liners, things like that, we've got all fiberglass storage boxes, the live wells, the interior compartments, the underseat storage, the engine box even, is its own separate molded fiberglass piece that's built here and then later attached to the boat. It's gonna become a part of the structure as we continue on through the build process. So you saw the boat come out of the mold. It goes into the grinding booth and get cuts out, gets cut out, and then it comes here into the pinning area. You can see them actually pinning the top cap onto the hull. It's gonna come become one here. And once it's together, it'll get fiberglass together and it can never be separated from that point. So this is the start of the final assembly area at this stage. This is where the boat starts looking a lot more like a boat. It's been pinned together. We've screwed it together every 10 inches around the perimeter of the boat to hold it in place. And then we fiberglass it together everywhere we can access. So all the way around the back end of the engine box, we fiberglass the top cap to the hull. Through the engine box, we fiberglass the transom, the stringers, the hull, the top cap, and this firewall all together to become one on the back end here. And then when we get a ton of our strength is on the front end. So those vertical dividers between the storage boxes that are glassed to the top cap, they're gonna get glass at every 90 all the way around inside all of those boxes to the subfloor below them. So we get a ton of strength from our storage boxes on the front deck. And then this is, uh, this is where it's gonna get sanded and buffed. So because there's a, maybe a, a 300, 400 boats built out of every mold individually, we're gonna wet sand and buff the entire boat all the way around so that no matter how meticulously we maintain our molds, there's always gonna be a perfect mirror finish on every boat. So we'll spend a day sanding and buffing it here, and then every, all the bolt-on equipment is gonna go on at the next stage. So this is the final stage of the build process. This is where all the bolt-on componentry is gonna go in. We're gonna get the carpet in the boat. We're gonna carpet the interior of the boxes, the, the tops of the decks. We're gonna trim the carpet. We're gonna bolt on all the different accessories, the trolling motors, the electronics, the seats will go into place, the consoles will go into place. Every different component's gonna get bolted on here. Um, and what's unique about this stage of the game for us is that our boat's built in stations. So we've got a carpet station and then a console station and a bilge pump station. As it progresses along, what's neat is that 
the, the, the builders essentially buy the boat from the station before it as it moves along. So there's a, a constant state of QC so it doesn't get all the way to the end where we QC a thousand different things on a boat. We're going to check it continually through the build process at the start of every day to make sure it's, it's coming through in the proper way. So four and a half weeks after we've painted the boat, which you guys just saw, we're going to get to the, the, the final days here. Uh, the final two days of production are going to be a quality control check. Uh, we're going to run water through all the drains, put, put water in the live wells and the coolers, just check everything through on the boat uh, one final time. We're going to put it onto its trailer, check everything once more, and then get it ready for shipment. And uh, that's a finished legend boat.